Thomas Zane. Ma was the assistant for Zane, right? I remember something like that. I don't know. I remember something like that. Not really sure. Oh boy, oh boy. There's a man in the bush. There's several men in the bush, actually. Holy shit, get, ri get rid of them. All right. Everybody get in an orderly line and I will take you out one by one. All right, execution style, bitch. There you go. Do 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 do. Did we do it? Is everything fine? Am I safe? For one, am I safe? This is not safe. This is in danger. Ow, come on with this bullshit. Come on then. There you go, that's one down. All right. Woo. Slowly but surely. Taking a lot of damage to my Lycan. A lot more damage than I like. Barry attacked For by a Taken. Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. The world exploded. What, are we going to find Armageddon? Is there a lot of missing pages in this? Oh yeah, this is a big kahuna. Big kahuna of a chapter, from what I can see. Hello, what's in this? Revolver ammo, revolver ammo, and batteries. Good old Energizer batteries, dude. Hell yeah. Gotta love those Energizer batteries. Dude, I wish I was sponsored right now. <laughs> I would get money. I, I, instead of getting money from sponsorships, I only get men in bushes. I only get men in a bush. Which is a very good band name, by the way. Men in the Bush. Could have some very suggestive undertones as well. If you want to swing that way. It's like, yeah, we're two men in a bush, baby. Yeah. God, I'm going to stop right now. I'm going to stop you right there. All right, what do we got over here? We got another Thymus. There you go, we got some revolver ammo, we got some shotgun ammo, we got lithium batteries that I almost knocked off the table. We got another shotgun, we got six shells. There you go. Let us go. Watch over here. What does this manuscript page say? Hartman, Hartman sedates Wake as again. Features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little yeah. time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Mm -hmm. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Do you think that Thomas is trying to be like this? guy with double standards all the time, you know? He says he's gonna help you, but in reality, he just wants to be studying you and probing your brain. So, hi, Barry. Ow! You're alive! And Let's you open the you. door, open you the fucker. Gate. Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... <laughs> I have a feeling that there's gonna be birds. I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Is there gonna be birds? No, there's only gonna be evil. Oh yeah, look at you coming at me so menacingly. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Oh, that's a, that's a few more than I'd like. Hurry up, Barry. And there's birds. I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, let's do this first. They're all backing away from me. Excuse you. All right, you're you're the first victim then. There you go. Ow. Ah! No, 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 no. Y'all stay away from me, you little gibbon. You. You. Oh, hey, I'm oh, boy. Okay, you fucking... 
You found a quarter berry? That's great. I'm gonna find my fucking life insurance even in a minute if you don't hurry up. Ah, life insurance. Oh, I have no floor. I have no more flares. I need to run away from my... Oh, shit. Barry! <laughs> fucking Barry, dude. Fucking Barry. The most useless character. He's useless and he's a greedy cunt to boot. Alright, I have a feeling that the best course of action is to fucking bum rush the fat guy. There you go. Bum rush him. Uh-oh. Oh! Ah! There you go. That's one down. It's gonna make things a little easier. There you go. Another one down. This guy. What the fuck are you doing? Ow. How did that... How do I dodge that? Come on. 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 There you go. One more. What the fuck is that taken doing over there? Oh, what are they doing? Hold on. Ow! Boston. Can you hurry up now? Oh, that guy. Ooh. Ooh. Barry, what are you doing? Barry's just playing GTA right about now. Please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. We leaved. I'm crazy, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry, I can- Al, I- No, listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! What are you saying look out to me for, Barry? Oof. Ow! God damn it, I'll talk to me! Did I hurt my leg? Is my leg broken? Nah, it's fine. I had lost my gun in the crash. Oh, come on. To be seen. I lost my gun, but I also Barry. lost my flashlight. Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah, Dang it. Hell, there's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh, yeah! Barry, are you alright? But that doesn't kill it, though. I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? But that doesn't kill yeah, them, though. Your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting! And where are we gonna find the Barry, gun just or a light? Me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! 
You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This <laughs> would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. He's gonna fucking die, I can already tell. He's gonna perish. And I'm not gonna take the fall for this shit. Oh boy, I may have to. Uh. I thought there was a thermos here somewhere. Hmm, must have been mistaken. Excuse you, can you not throw your shit at me? I know, Alan. Uh, ow, my fucking face. My features. That's not what we needed. That's what we need. Yeah. Come on then, you fucker. Try to hit me. I'm not scared. Oh boy. So he's gonna turn off. No. No, not now. Don't turn off now. Come on. Stay on. I don't care how much battery you have left, you're gonna use it all. Ugh. I want this. Give me a clue of what's gonna happen. Walter and the Anderson, the, farm. the Anderson farm. Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw mm. the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Oh, shit. Well, fuck. We're gonna meet Walter. Walter. Is that a thermos over there? Or is that a gun? All I know is that there's bullshit afoot. There's bullshit afoot. Come on then, buddy. Gonna try to get up here? God, that is not safe. That's another OSHA violation right there. Oh, come on, really? Ah! I tried to be smart. Try to do it like in Bloodborne. Huh. Oh boy. Just run, Alan. Alan cannot run anymore, apparently. What, are you tired, Alan? Are you tired, Al? Can you run? Oh, fuck me. Uh. Alan, come on! <laughs> How do you not have adrenaline coursing through your veins right now, giving you the endless energy you need? Let's go. Come on, Al. Don't fuck with me on this. Ow, my back. Come on, what is this shit? Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Oh boy. There's a manuscript over there. Maybe that will show me the way. <laughs> Alright, what do you got for me, Paige? Nightingale arrests Wake Nightingale God damn it. stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Well, dang. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. That's good shit. What's over here, though? Are there gonna be flashbangs? No, there's nothing. I got jack shit from this. I only got a generator. That's the only thing I got. Are you kidding me with this? This is not what I wanted. It's not even going away, the fucking thing. I only get energy from it. Can I... Ooh, wait a minute. Ah! I see how this works. Okay, that is less informative. There you go. What's that over there, then? 
Is there anything over here that I need to know? No? Okay. Then I run away again. Goodbye. Goodbye. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous. <gasps> yes. I had no choice. No batteries, by the way. Trust no one in the dark. Of course. Why would you give other advice? Ouch! No weapon, by the way. Not even a flare or a flashbang. What if I just get a torch? What if I just made a torch real quick? I'm pretty sure I could make a torch. Really? I don't think they are, buddy. Oh, boy. Generator. Oh, come on. Can I quickly start this, you think? Oh, now I get batteries. Oh, come on. What the fuck? I'm just gonna run. Oh, yeah. We have the stamina of a fucking guinea pig with a heart attack. Come on. Let's go. Oh, the light. I need to get to the light. They won't get me in the light. They wouldn't dare. Ow. Haha. <gasps> ha. Try to get me, bastards. See? They don't like it. They don't like it at all. Alan, can you please work on your cardio? Can Alan please work on his cardio? Is that the coal the mine over there? was driving no. away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. That would be bad. That would be bad if it actually was the case. Ooh, hello. It's over here. Uh, heavy duty flashlight. I mean, I'm gonna take it. Some batteries. Some coffee thermos. Because that's what we really need. We really need that coffee thermos right now. Ash what we need. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Oh boy. What's going on over here? Nothing? No. Well. Bollocks. Boop. Just knock that blank out of the way. Fuck. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. God? I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. God? Dark present the at dark large. Present followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. So that's how we beat this? Is that how we beat the darkness? Or the Taken, I should say? Is that how we beat Jagger? I don't know. Can I use these? No. I need to watch out for them then, I guess. Jeez, how many of them are there? Enough. There's enough of them. Oh boy. This looks safe. Alrighty. Well, we got a we got a little light source and a shotgun. Someone yes, thank had left fuck. Gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Oh, it's loaded. All right, we have a fighting chance now. We have a manuscript page. The patients escaped the, the lodge. On as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. 
They had fought these shades before. Really? Really now? They fought these shades before, huh? Hi. Okay. Okay, goodbye then. I'm guessing the bear traps are also usable against these guys. Good to know, good to know, good to know. What's in here? There's nothing in the suitcase. Let's just run. Or try to run at least. We have a shotgun with very limited ammo, but we can make it work. Just need to know who to pick. Hi, buddy. Whoa! Yeah. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, bastard. My own, my own trap used against me. I need to run. We don't know where the farm is, and there's men behind me. Whoa, buddy. You got a license for that. Fucker. There you go. Already running low on ammo, not gonna lie. I don't like this. These guys are really like to get behind me, huh? Ooh. All right, hold on. Come on. Shit. Need to get closer to these guys. We have a very limited amount of batteries, so I do need to save them up. There's so many of them behind me, dude. Why? Step into the bear trap. Come on. Guess not then. It's not just a typewriter brand. That's uh, an achievement I just got. It's not just a typewriter brand. Hi there, buddy. I think I may just have enough ammo to get to the farm. Nope. No! Whoa. Okay, buddy. Seems I have the upper hand now, don't I? Right, run for it. No! Whoa! Run! Oh, they don't follow me in here. Huh. And two shells to spare, I no could less. See the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Hello? Okay, at least Anybody we here? close the door. Ah! Barry! What are you? What are you? Ah, no, don't! I'm sorry! Ah, 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 ah. The fuck? Hello? The front door was locked. Son of a bitch. Hello? Anybody home? What the fuck? Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine you know it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it they're in the loony bin my buddy danny i lost him something's gone wrong with him it's not him like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie <laughs> The best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway. Hmm. Well, he's not coming back for the sequel, is he? Okay, I've God. Through every possible course in my head, 
If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. I keep, I, I swear, Thomas Zane is like his alter ego or something. Oh, hi. Hi, buddy. Tell that to the coroner. Is he using a parking meter? That's, <laughs> that's private property you're using right there, buddy. Guess. Danny, huh? I'll get to the farm, I guess. Oh, what? The farm was okay. still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. What the fuck? Okay, well... What do we have here? Flashbangs! Hell yeah. A flashbang. Better than nothing, I guess. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna use the car after I loot this. It's in here. Is there anything in the toilet? Ah, oh, toilet paper. Yes, my manuscript. Yes! Finally. A glimmer of hope. Oh wait, there's actually one here. Cool. Hartman considers Mott and Wake. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Is that why they're sedating me? So I actually do want to see. Oh, wow. Are we... Really? Are we close to the end already? That's weird. Hmm. Well, anywho. Let's go. Wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down oh, the shit. For no, moment, no, 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 no. bad for doubting No. Him. After all, I've made it this far myself. But Barry uh. was Barry. Barry was Barry, yeah, and here I am trying to fucking drive myself out of a ditch. Oh, well, this is a predicament, isn't it? No! How do I even manage this? Okay. Farm was still a good distance Shit. away. I'd need a car. You don't you, you haven't seen anything. Haven't seen anything. Nothing happened, okay? All right, let's try this again, and this time we're gonna make a wide berth. There you go. A moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself, but Barry was Barry. You could say he's gonna bury himself if he doesn't watch out. Ah, <laughs> oh, he may actually die. Barry. Oh, Barry! You were almost a chill sandwich. Well, that's not good. Um. Hi. There you go. Hit him. Hold up. Just a little bit more. Boom! Boom! That's not what I wanted. Get in the car, Alan. It's like I'm checking my car for damages. It's like, ah, shit, the bumper's all fucked. Ah, the bumper's all fucked. Don't worry about it. Is there anything in this truck? Anything in this truck that we can use? No, there's jack shit, actually. 
Any hoozle, let us move along. Oh, hi. That's not good. Uh oh. Ouch! Get back to the car, Alan. Get back to the car. Run! Jesus. Oh. Yeah. How about y'all, uh, watch out? Yeah, I didn't have a good joke there. But we did it at least. Can I use the headlights on that? Oh yeah, we can. We can actually cheese it. Cheesed it. We cheesed it. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Get back in the car. It's like in the zombie apocalypse. Like you put a barrier between yourself and the zombies and then boom, there you go. They're safe. At least that's what they want you to think. I don't know. This car is gonna explode. Yeah, the car is done for. Well, that's great. Ow! Oh, shitting hell. Hey, buddy. There you go. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Well, the car is kind of trashed, but that's okay, because we weren't able to take it anyway. And we got rid of the... What was it, a bulldozer? I think it's a bulldozer. No, it wasn't a bulldozer. It was a, uh... Machine of some sort. That's all I know. 